which we will carry out this year. Oh, there you go. Question number nine. Brendan Hohen. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, my question is to the... Order. The member has a right to have his question heard. Question, Brendan Hohen. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Primary Industries and asks, does he support new foreign investment in the New Zealand dairy sector? Honourable Joe Goodhue. On behalf of the Minister for Primary Industries, yes. This government has a goal of increasing exports as a percentage of GDP from 30% to 40% by 2025. Increased investment into our primary industries will be crucial for this to happen. This investment will need to come from people overseas as well as New Zealanders. The Point more of order. investment we get... Point of orders. Sir, a simple yes or no would have sufficed. And I accept it would have, but the member's uh, attempting to give more information to the member. I would have thought the member would be grateful for that. Does, has the member got a supplementary question? Supplementary question, sir. Supplementary what, question. Brendan what Hyde. proportion of foreign ownership does the minister think is desirable within the New Zealand dairy industry? Mr. Honourable Speaker, Joe Goodhue. On behalf of the minister. I'm not going to give you an absolute answer because I'm not briefed on any statements that the Minister have made about aspiration, but what I will actually say to the member is that currently foreign ownership of farms in New Zealand is at a percentage in the order of 1%. However, the outrage we hear seems a little beyond that percentage. Supplementary question, is it? Supplementary question, Brendan. Supplementary question, sir. Given that uh, response, does the Minister think that it is a good idea that foreigners own over 40 per cent of Fonterra's derivative shares? Honourable Joe Goodhue. Mr Speaker, Fonterra asked the Government for the ability to raise the external capital in the form of trading among farmers. The Government passed legislation last year that enabled it. They have their own constitutional limits around how large the TEF fund is, and the fund investors have no voting rights. Question number 10, Dr Jackie Blue. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health and asks, what reports has he received on the government's better public...